Number seven, this is one of those that we want to find out what this iteration of i is equivalent to. So we have i to the 30th power. So my suggestion is recall we have four iterations. We have i, i squared, which is equal to negative one, i cubed, which is equal to negative i, and then we have i to the fourth, which is equal to positive one. So this is your scale. All right, so we're gonna do some division, and we're gonna look at our remainder, and our remainder is gonna tell us which one of these we're dealing with. Like you don't have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, until you get to 30. You could, but there's a quicker way to do it. So if you have a remainder of one, if you have a remainder of two, if you have a remainder of three, and then this one if you have a remainder of zero because it goes in there evenly, four times evenly. So here's what you do. Since there are four powers, we're trying to divide out fours because we have ones. Every time you have four i's, it's just like multiplying by one. So you take this power, 30, and you divide it by four. Again, four because of that's the highest power, and it's just multi dividing out ones, basically. So four will go into three zero times, but four will go into 30 seven times, and then seven times four is 28. And then you subtract, and we have a remainder of two. So this is your power of i. This is your magic number that we're looking for. You just divide evenly, so it goes in there seven times, and then we have two remaining. So since we have two remaining, that's equivalent to i squared, which is equivalent to negative one. And we'll do another one like this just to drive that point home, negative one. Let me go back, I'm gonna do another one like that. So this one is i to the 43rd power. So same process, um, you're gonna take that power 43 we're going to divide it by 4 4 goes into 4 once subtract 0 bring down to 3 and 4 will not go into 3 at all so you have a remainder of 3 that's your magic number so remainder of 3 tells you negative i so that's all you have to do when doing these. <clears throat> Negative I. Alright, so let's look at number eight. Number eight just wants us to perform the indicated operation. We have square root of negative 25 So remember, negative under square root translates to i. So we pull out that negative, and it's i times the square root of 25 now. And the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5i. And so that's it.